For Republican Brian Kemp, Tuesday night was short and sweet. The new campaign he'll wage against Democrat Stacey Abrams will be neither. Abrams is running to become the first Democrat elected governor in 20 years and the first black woman in the country to win a governor's race. Uh, she may be an underdog, but she's an underdog uh, with a fighter's chance. DeKalb CEO Michael Thurmond is an Abrams supporter. He notes Abrams and Kemp will give voters a sharp choice on issues like guns. Kemp wants to eliminate carry permits. Abrams wants tighter gun controls. Thurmond expects Kemp and Abrams to moderate many of their messages by November. We know that as sure as summer turns to fall, uh, general election candidates tend to migrate back to more moderate positions. It's always been that way. Thurman says he also expects the November election to be a mini referendum on President Trump, who endorsed Kemp last week and who remains a polarizing figure in much of Georgia. Kemp himself said Tuesday Hillary night Clinton. that's fine with him. The president's very popular in Georgia, you know, he, and he's getting more popular because people are getting over the attacks by the liberal media and other people. They just don't tell the truth all the time, and people are looking at the records. Kemp's closeness to President Trump could be a blessing and a curse in November against Abrams. We talked with one leading Republican who is a supporter of Kemp who points out the Democrats have succeeded when they have morphed state elections into referendums on the president. We will have more on that tonight at 6, Ron. All right, Doug, we will see you tonight at 6 o'clock, sir. By the way, just last week, folks, we asked Georgia voters about a potential Kemp-Abrams matchup. Our exclusive 11 Alive poll found the Kemp with a 46 to 44 lead over Abrams with 10% undecided.